Uh, happy Tuesday, everyone. It's Stephen Smith coming to you from Inside Out Studio for Live Art Mini. And I am here with the artist, James Egan. Hello. James, anyone you want to say hi to out there? I'd like to say hello to my favorite artist that I'm painting right now. Can you hear me? Hello. Who is your favorite artist? So it, it's Natalie. Natalie? Mm -hmm. And does she go, you introduced me to Natalie today. Does she go by another name as well? She mostly goes by Natalie, but when she goes on the stage, she goes by mostly her stage name, but when she's not on stage, she goes by her real name. Okay. And her, her stage name is Cascada? Yes. And she's a German artist and singer. Yes. So I'm going to grab a picture from you real quick. Mm -hmm. We'll show James is working on a painting right now, which we're going to share with you. So that is Cascada. James did a sketch earlier today from this image, and then mm -hmm. we translated that into a painting on canvas. So mm -hmm. to end our May month of music, we're doing our favorite musician portraits. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to share with you some other artists from the studio and what they've done in the past as well, and show you a few recent ones that James has done too. And before we get to that, we're going to say a big thank you to our sponsor, and that is Sherry Armstead and Symmetry Gallery over on Sims Road in Fairfield, Ohio. So James, they create uh, original artwork over there as well. They sell original artwork over there. So they have artists all over the region, all over the country, but it's all handmade, one-of-a-kind artwork, just like we have here at the Inside Out Studio. So a big thank you to Symmetry Gallery and Sherry Armstead. All right, James, you want to share with us some of your other favorite musicians and artists since mm -hmm. it is May Music Month? Mm -hmm. Who are those? What do you like to listen to? I'm mostly in between singers. Sometimes it will be between Lady Gaga or Adele. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes a little bit of Calamara Girls, also is the name of the uh, artist group. Okay. Um, I do hear a little bit in their country like Carrie Underwood and Lady in Bone. Okay. So I'm getting the hint that you like female singers. Mm -hmm. Very cool. And then uh, in the studio this afternoon, we're rocking out to a 90s dance party, some boy bands and other things happening in the background here. But before we jump into James's pieces, I do want to share one of our other artist works. So some of you out there might know David Campbell, and he might actually be watching today. But here's a portrait of David Campbell that he did of Taylor Swift. So she's on stage with her guitar there. And then another piece that he did of Beyonce. So David's got a very unique portrait style. He loves doing celebrities, musicians, movie stars, and his favorite WWE wrestlers. So we love his portraits here at the studio. All right, James, should we share what you've been working on over the past week? Mm -hmm. This started last week. We got the idea to do the portraits because you did a, a painting of Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to share that with everyone right now. So this is an acrylic on canvas of Lady Gaga that James created. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite Lady Gaga song? I think I have to choose from her old album, Born This Way. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> on the Edge of Glory, the last track of her album, Born This Way. I'm on the Edge of Glory. Mm -hmm. Very cool. I love this portrait. And you did this in acrylic paint pens. Yeah. So a little bit different from what you're doing today because we're going to be mm -hmm. showing some traditional paints. But a great example of James's artwork and interpretation of Lady Gaga. And then let's show an example of Adele that you just created. Mm -hmm. So we do traditional drawing method here, sketching and mm -hmm. working from imagery. So we have the portrait that James picked off the internet of Adele. Mm -hmm. Created a pencil drawing sketch. And then you chose mm -hmm. color pencils to fill it in. Yes. So this could turn into a painting down the road if you choose, mm -hmm. if you like. Very good. I love your characters and your imagery. This is awesome. Yes. And then the artist name, Cascada, yes. the, the German singer. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna, we did a drawing earlier, and I'm gonna, if you wanna hand me that picture. Yep. So this is the original image mm -hmm. that James selected off our iPad. And then here's his pencil and color pencil drawing. 
And then we're going to take it to the overhead shot, and we're going to work on this painting for a little bit. So mm -hmm. James is working with traditional acrylics on canvas. We're going to go to our creativity camera, mm -hmm. and you can see that from above right now. So James, everyone can see exactly what's in front of you mm -hmm. right there. And if you look to the right side of our computer, that's mm -hmm. the screen that they see right now too. So let's just take some time and add some paint on this. I want to give you back your original image that you're working from. Mm -hmm. So one thing that we're talking about is color mixing and color variation. So we talked about between her leggings and boots and the stool that she's sitting on, they're mm -hmm. all variations of browns and they're all fairly dark browns. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is created a variety of browns over here off to the side. So you've got more of a burnt sienna and then a raw umber. Mm -hmm. So we can use those. I would suggest these for the boots. Yes. These for the leggings. Yes. We'll see how it looks because one thing about color is you never know how it looks until it actually mm -hmm. gets on the canvas sitting next right. to each other. We're going to work on that for a little bit and then we're mm -hmm. going to show a little bit about mixing skin tone, mm -hmm. which if we're doing a natural skin tone, can be a little bit of a process. It's actually a mixture of yellow, blue, red, and white. Mm -hmm. You can mix any ethnicity of skin tone mm -hmm. from that variety of colors. Um, she also started back in her late teens before she became a music artist. Yeah. Was I she believe 16 years old. Was she singing back then? She was, yes. Um, she did make her uh, songs of her career. She also posts a couple other songs on YouTube, mm -hmm. uh, Spotify, and Pandora as well. Gotcha. Well, you're just educating me and everyone on Cascada mm -hmm. slash Natalie, which I never heard of until today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kathleen, have you heard of her? You yeah? have? Okay. Yeah. I just didn't realize. <laughs> Maybe I'm just old. <laughs> <laughs> I got her first one, second one, Riddle Me and Perfect Day from the, that artist. Okay. I think she was actually the first fan who got me into music. Very nice. All right, while you're painting, I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit here. Give a closer look. Mm -hmm. I was using her music to get through mm -hmm. makeup or two. <laughs> um, her music just for that. Mm -hmm. She also has a sister. Yeah, James, I think we might need two layers on that uh, once it dries. You can mm -hmm. see that some of the colors are more transparent than others. Right. The burnt umber is definitely more transparent. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get each side, I mean, each side of the uh, even color, then I'll let that dry and go back to the same spot. Gotcha. It's the same with her. Upper outfit, then I'm going to do the same for her tank top as well. Okay. I'm not going to do much for her hair because it's more like a lighter, lighter darker color, I believe, like it is. Mm -hmm. I might need a smaller detail brush for her eyes. Yeah, and sometimes going for a realistic blonde hair can be difficult because there's different mm -hmm. layers of tones. Right. So you have like a. And mics, yes yellow base but then you also have the shadows and then you have the highlights yes so sometimes it takes two three layers to get more of a realistic look brown yes for the darker parts mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep do a warm brown for darker parts yes mm -hmm. very good so let's try to mix those boots so we have the picture here off to the side yes her boots are a, going to be the most typical because all the colors are her boots mm -hmm. So we're going to take some of this burnt sienna, which mm -hmm. is more of a warm red mm -hmm. brown with brown tones in it, yeah. and then kind of mix it in with that burnt umber. Mm -hmm. And what we're shooting for is to get the color just mm -hmm. slightly lighter Yep. and more to stand out from mm -hmm. the actual leggings that she's wearing. 
Yep. So really, when you test your colors, you can just put a little dab on there, so like mm -hmm. right around the edge of the boot. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that, James? I kind of like that. That's good. Mm -hmm. So, and I noticed that she's got like bedazzled boots there. Mm -hmm. So we've got some different gemstones, so we can yes. do like a, a base coat of brown over the whole thing. Mm -hmm. After it's done drying, you can go back and dot, dot, dot yeah, that, on there with some probably, white gold. Yeah, that'll probably work. Okay. Um, I also noticed that when she's getting ready for her tour, that I did not even notice that she even likes Starbucks. Oh, she likes Starbucks? Mm -hmm. Are you a, you're a Starbucks fan? Mm-hmm. Very cool. I didn't even know that she was until I saw now. <laughs> I, I learn more about her every day. <laughs> nice. Speaking of tours, it's nice to have live music being scheduled out there again. Yes. Tours in the fall and winter time. Mm -hmm. And she even has a Facebook. I just now noticed. Okay. So do we. We're on there live right now. Oh, I hope she finds it. <laughs> <laughs> We'd have to hashtag her and see if it. Yeah. See if she can see it. If you're watching, I really hope you like your painting. <laughs> 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 All right, James, while you're painting, we're going to remind everyone that if you are watching, give us a like, give yes. us a heart, and give us a comment. Yes. If you'd like to tell us what your favorite artist is, your favorite mm -hmm. musician, that would be great. Yes. You can ask any questions for James as well. Mm -hmm. Well, that's hard. <laughs> Let us know that you're out there visiting with the Inside Out Studio artist today. Mm -hmm. Why should I learn? <laughs> I believe this is this color right here. Next to it, the right one. Yep, we mixed a little, a, a little small batch right there in the middle. I get a little mix happy and like lots of different colors. Mm -hmm. and like we said, you could just paint over that, that whole boot oh, yeah. right there. So you then after it's dry, you can mm -hmm. go back and add the gemstones on top as a second mm -hmm. layer. My biggest weakness of food has to be tacos. You're a taco fan? Yes, love tacos. Me too. They don't drink my belly. I love all kinds of Mexican tacos, burritos, mm -hmm. about chips and queso. Well, I love chips and queso. <laughs> That's my favorite. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> All right. What's the next section you want to tap? Um, glad you asked about that. We got that dark red for the background. Maybe we can work on yeah. some background for a little bit. I and think that will work. And I'm going to let this dry for a bit. Yep. And then I'm going to kick it over. We've got a short little video from Debbie and Sherry over at Symmetry Gallery. They got, they're running a promotion through Inside Out Studio, as right. well as being our sponsor. So I'm going to pull that up. Okay. And while I show everyone that's watching out there right now, okay. you can also work on your background. Okay. We'll be right back. I'm Sherry. I'm here with Debbie at Symmetry. And I just wanted to take a minute to say how happy I am to sponsor an organization that provides an opportunity in studio environment for artists with disabilities to produce market, exhibit, and sell their work, and receive an income. Fantastic, and we here at Symmetry invite you to come shop with us and visit us at our store at 1000 Sims Road. Mention that you've watched this live today and you'll receive 10% off your next purchase. I look forward to seeing you. See you soon. All right, thank you, Debbie and Sherry. That's awesome that they're running that promotion so mention that you're watching inside out studios live art mini and you get a discount over at symmetry gallery and boutique in fairfield all right so james while you're working on the background one thing that we did say we're going to share with everyone today is how to make skin tones yeah like different tones so you can keep painting in the background okay i'm just going to scoot these over in the frame some more all right but really most skin tones are made with the primary colors so it's a mixture of yellow red tiny tiny touch of blue just for some coolness to neutralize that color yes. and so you, know, you could do white to lighten it you could do an umber to darken it mm -hmm. depending on what skin tone you are shooting for so mm -hmm. let me gather some paints while you paint the background
Oakley Oakley. So I'm going to go with a yellow ochre to start. It's more of a neutral color. Okay. When you're mixing realistic colors, say skin tones, or say mm -hmm. you're doing a landscape and need some trees or grass, you mm -hmm. want to go with things that are more neutral, not so bright and intense. Right. So I'm going to start with a yellow ochre base for Natalie's skin tone. Yes. It's a nice dull warm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some basic red over here. Yep. It just comes as bright red. We're going to do that to add a pinkish hue to it. And then we actually add a touch of blue. So I'm going to use some cobalt blue. Mm -hmm. Just a tiny, tiny touch of that when adding to the skin tone mixers. Mm -hmm. I always prefer cobalt because that's the name of my son. <laughs> yep, Kobe for short. And then white as needed. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll add a little bit more to the white section of your palette, we can just pull from that. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, we got the 90s rocking. You have a favorite boy band? No? I didn't really grow up in that era for that. No? How about Spice Girls? No, I mostly grew around mostly Whitney Houston. Okay. Because my mom mostly listens to her off and on. Gotcha. So, all right, I'm going to start mixing this, James. So, adding a little bit of the red into a larger amount of the yellow ochre. Uh, back then, when Matt used to be my stepdad, he was mostly into the heavy metal. Yeah. Like, Sting was one of them. And I'm just going to barely dip the brush into the blue mm -hmm. to get a touch of that. So the ratio is mostly yellow ochre, mm -hmm. dab of red, and just a tiny, tiny bit of blue. So that starts to make a neutral brown color. And then we're going to add some white to start to lighten things mm -hmm. up to get our skin tone. I'm trying not to do her hair red. I'm trying to avoid all that. <laughs> okay. Kind of hard. <laughs> And now we start to lean more towards peach. Like Princess Peach. Yep. Or it's good Bowser in that. Or it's a me, a Mario. <laughs> yep. I'd like to know what happened to the drawings I did. And then one thing that we can do is go back to the original photocopy mm -hmm. and just kind of compare color that we mix to the actual picture. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty dark still. So we're going to have to add more white, mm -hmm. maybe a touch of yellow. She's mm -hmm. kind of got like a bronze skin tone. Mm -hmm. I'd like to know what happened to the characters I uh, did of Mario and Luigi and Princess Peach. The drawings that you did? Yeah. I think they're still in your drawer. Huh. Speaking of that, I just wanted to let everyone know that you can always shop online. So look for that mm -hmm. link in the comment section. Mm -hmm. So all the artists work, whether it be works on paper, like your watercolors or drawings, yeah. or acrylics on canvas, yeah. glass, ceramics, yeah. everything yes. is online. And just like you're shopping in the store, half the proceeds go right back to you, James, or the artist that you're purchasing from. Mm -hmm. And the rest keep the program going with more materials. Yes. How's this look for a nice peachy skin tone? Looks pretty good to me. Just dab her chin right there. Bam. All right. Mm -hmm. So we got our skin tone mix. So a little secret of the trade, if you're doing some acrylic mm -hmm. painting, it's a mixture of yellow, mm -hmm. touch of red, tiny bit of blue, mm -hmm. and white or brown to lighten or darken based on mm -hmm. ethnicity to get the skin tone you're searching for. Um, so usually if you grab peach right mm -hmm. out of like a tube, it's right. really bright and intense mm -hmm. and just too much for a real skin tone. I also noted for her lipstick color, it's more like a, a darkish, light pinkish purple, I mean pinkish color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd say a secret for that too is you just take some of the actual skin tone. If someone's got more of a natural mm -hmm. lip color or lipstick on, mm -hmm. you would just take some of the actual skin color and do mm -hmm. a little dab, let's say of red, to mix into mm -hmm. it. 
to get a pink mm -hmm. that doesn't stand out too much and right. look like glaring red. I also noticed that she likes to use dust, not too much, but a little bit of purple. Yeah. So I noticed she has some purple right here, but not as much. But she mostly puts it right here. Some purple eyeshadow? Yeah. Okay, we can do a little dab of that too. And I, once again, I would suggest taking the skin tone, mm -hmm. adding some purple to it. Mm -hmm. That way it doesn't pop out too much when you're doing right. it on campus. Right. You already have the meat to make purple. Then mm -hmm. blue. All right, James, you want to switch over to skin tone, I can pass a brush to you. Yep. And then while you start that, you can keep painting. I was going to share with everyone one of our other artists, Tracy Miracle, who loves to paint and draw his favorite celebrities and musical mm -hmm. artists. And Ooh. he does watercolors, and he does it through using a tracing machine. So usually we'll find some images online that he mm -hmm. likes. He'll pick that. We'll have to up the contrast and Photoshop elements, or we can just trace over top of it with a Sharpie marker. That way he can see the lines a little bit more clear when mm -hmm. he's doing the tracing machine. Can you guess who that is? Hmm. My guess, the only one that wears that kind of outfit, I can say Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana is correct. It's very good. You get yes. a point. You get a point. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to check in with my phone. I haven't been getting the messages popping up on there. But we got Jean Sparks out there. She said hi. So Dwayne's mom is watching. And then Allison says hi to everyone, too. Allison couldn't make it in today, but she is out there watching today. Yay! And then Sherry Armstead, I saw, was out there watching. She gave us a big heart on our video today, so that's great. Uh -huh. All right, let's look at some of their uh, portraits by Tracy here. You should know who that is. Yes. See, that one person plays piano. Hmm. Mm -hmm. She's not. She's not as glammed up as she usually is. I'll give you a hint there. Okay. Any guesses? She's wearing a pony kind of hat. Yeah, and this is more a laid-back look for Lady Gaga. Yeah. So we got Lady Gaga in black and white done by Tracy Miracle. And we're going to go from Lady Gaga to Radio Gaga because we got Freddie Mercury from Queen. Mm -hmm. There's a watercolor that he did there. And then here's a very colorful portrait of Cher yeah. by Tracy Miracle. So good job, Tracy, on all your watercolors and drawings. Oh, uh, we will be seeing you soon in the studio. Speaking of Cher, I got a couple of CDs at home. Yeah? Yep. Very good. All right, we're back overhead to the creativity camera. Checking out James filling in the skin tones. Once again, if you're just tuning in, we're painting Cascada today. Yes. Those who don't know who she is, German artist, goes around the world and does world tours. Okay. But her real name is Natalie, correct? Yes. Cool. Very good. Um, she does party remixes. But it's on any dance. Dance party remixes? Yes. I'm a big fan of that. Makes me think back to Chef a couple weeks ago. Um, it, she's on any the company called Zoo. Okay. Zoo's the one that mostly helps her out with all that as well. She just came out with one other song called uh, Chains in the Air. And it's a download between Spotify or Pandora. All right. I think you're on her marketing team. <laughs> well, I'm glad you enjoy her music. Yes. Sometimes I'll sing some of her songs at home. Okay. Uh, 
off to a good start. And you can always do some highlights with those paint markers when you're done, mm -hmm. too. Or just keep at it with the acrylic paint. Yeah. So James, what's your favorite thing to work with while you're at the studio? I'm more into watercolor, glass, paint markers, or sometimes in between one of those two. Okay, it's pretty much everything. Yes. Very cool. A little fallout over there. It's looking, looking good. All right, so I'm going to unhook here. You can keep painting there, James. I'm going to prepare to unhook from the creativity cam because we're going to go visit in with Nadia Janine because she prepared a musical-inspired painting today as well. It's not as of an artist necessarily, but it's still inspired by music for our May theme. So let's switch back here to the regular camera. I'm going to unhook the overhead camera. And before we roll away, is there anyone you want to say goodbye to or give a shout out to? Um, I want to say a big shout out to everyone out there. Think positive and dream big. Think positive and dream big. I like it, James. Well, it was fun painting with you today. Hope everyone out there enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. You can keep working on Cascada slash Natalie. Yes. And we'll see how it comes out. So let's go say hi to Miss Nadia. Uh oh, about to knock over some paints. That's a point on my. Just got a point on my driver's license for that one. How about that? <laughs> All right, Miss Nadia, you are live on Facebook right now. Anyone you want to say hi to? Hi, mom. All right, hey, mom. We're really proud of Nadia here at the studio. And what did you create to be inspired by music as a painting? You can show the world right now. Cool. Very cool. So we were talking about doing musical portraits, artist portraits. And, you know, Nadia, you had some hesitancy about doing a uh, real-life human portrait. Yes, that was very difficult for me. So, oh, I don't think I'm ready to do some people yet. Okay, we can always practice that later. We even talked about doing like a Pokemon because we love the Pokemon theme yes. song. <laughs> but we came up with this. And we want to describe this piece to everyone and what inspired you and what made you think of doing this? Uh, I was listening to a song called When You Say Nothing At All. Uh, when You Say Nothing At All? That's a classic country and, song, and isn't it? And another song um, yeah, it was Brother My Brother. So okay. this is what I came up with. Very cool. How'd you make a decision on the colors? and the style here. Because I, I like rainbows and it suits me because it has the fiery passion for music. Mm -hmm. The swirls pretty much for er, around the world. I love the abstract musical notes and also the little swirls that you get inside there. <laughs> love it. And you've got the paint markers going on. Nadia's a huge fan of paint markers. Makes it easier to get some linear designs and more exact detail when you're doing paintings. Very cool. Who is your favorite musician? Since we're talking about May Music Month, who do you like to listen to the most? The Chicks. The Chicks? Yeah. Formerly the, the Dixie Chicks, but yep. they shorten their name. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some big country fans here on Tuesday. Well, well I like the Dixie Chicks songs. Yep. I probably don't agree with what the, you know, whatever happened, but yep. so we all have disagreements and we got to learn to live with it. That's true. Lots of great advice from Inside Out artists today. Everyone's got their own opinions, but enjoying the music is another thing. So, All right, we're going to we're end the day. I'm going to swing over here, visit with Mr. Matthew Smith. Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Would you like to share your favorite musicians with anyone out there today? I really don't have any favorite musicians. Mm -hmm. What about a musical score from a movie? Because I know you're a huge fan. No, 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 it's... Most of the music from movies I'm okay with, but I wouldn't classify them as something I have like a top ten list or something. Okay. Any favorite song? Well, that's the point. That you said movie. Now, if it's a video game, that would be totally different. Okay. 
So you love video games? No, it's the fact that you know, the, each video game has their own soundtrack and stuff. And it's, it's the pile of, sometimes it's just like basic music, things like The Witcher and stuff, but sometimes it's actual songs. Mm -hmm. Well, we're wrapping things up today, but we have a wide variety of musical taste here at the studio. We love to rock out while we're making art, just like we have a huge variety of artists and styles. So thanks again, everyone, for watching.